Cool. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so, something that people don't really know about King Kingo is that he has a phenomenal boost to age. A lot of people are like, wait a second, why am I losing Nutrigal so much to him? His dash attack and dash grab are unreactable at, at, at a distance where you'd expect it to be reactable. You know, his dash attack is like frame 7. It, it's, it's absurd what? for no reason. And it's a pretty big dash attack too, so that's pretty fucking good. Yeah. You can't really do anything except like maybe trying to shield it or grab through it. Uh, that being said though, Scratch right now is juggling him super well. Um, sets up the cannonball a little bit. Mm. I really like that. It kind of like forces Scratch to keep his feet planted on the ground. He can't dash forward, he can't really jump too much. Um, and he was just able to get stage control as a result. Nenzo missing the punish with that cannonball. Scratch is going to take advantage and take him off stage. But that slight mix up in the drift saved Enzo. You notice mm -hmm. that instead of going completely down below, he moved a little bit to the left, and Scratch was just not ready to punish it like that. Those kinds of little bits of recovery mix is the only reason why Enzo is sitting alive right now. Oh Ooh. my goodness. But not alive for long enough. Sending him down. No, I'm doing another. No. Oh, he could have gotten a double spike, but yeah. then Scratch was smart to recognize, you know what, I need to get up here now. Because that's the King K. Will special. They hit you with that back here spike and then they do another one. Um, okay, gonna nail train him a little bit. Nice. Take him to a little trip with the NJ Transit there. I, You know what? I appreciate the fact that Stretch is putting in the effort to parry these projectiles just to minimize his shield damage. Because you know what? King Kigo has got some nasty shield break punishes. You know, it, mm. he, can, he can break that shield if you're not careful with like one good down smash. So Stretch is just, you know, oh my goodness. My, my. He was very fortunate there because like the animation for that down smash avoids so much. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it has armor on the belly, too. It's... Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I've got to say about that. Just why? Uh, he tried to get a... He tried to punish it um, by trying to get, like, a grounded spike through the platform. But I think we've seen the duck suit had a little bit too low um, after who have smashed with him to be able to get it. I like the attempt, though. Nice tech coming from Enzo. Mm -hmm. That's the same give up option. He, right now he's being super patient with the coin that he has the returning crown, and you see Stretch actually rolling inwards um, and letting Enzo get back onto the stage because he was just more so afraid of getting a crown hit and then, you know, being comboed, being comboed till whatever he sounds like. What a roll here, goodness. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> How does this end that way? Well, you know what? We're gonna take it. That's like a melee dolphin slash angle. Yep. That's, that's, that's the reverse of the coming in hot. Coming in hot with those, those little stretch combos here, looking like. Mm -hmm. Look at the way that he's controlling the ground right now, using a side B. He's just making all the space extremely impenetrable for stretch. But I've got to say, the way that he's just waiting on these platforms, waiting for Enzo to push in a little bit too far, and just waiting for his opportunity, definitely the way to play it. Oh my. Got that opportunity right there with the up here. Sealing it for game one. Man, Enzo's K Will is so nice every time I see it. Like, mm. he has such strong, good play fundamentals. Like, I'm convinced. It's not even his K Will that's good. He's so good with any character that he touches, any character that he picks up, right? His, his ledge trapping, for instance, is, is some of the best. Mm. Um, he just holds it down. He's simply patient. He's not hungry for kills, per se. He just keeps you on ledge for long enough until you become frustrated and then pick a suboptimal option. Um, yeah, Enzo really played that beautifully. Yep. And his usage for a side B is also really good because with K roll, since since the buff, you can combo with um with crown so much easier now. Yeah. It's crazy. Going on to game two. I'm guessing they're gonna go back to the same stage, is my guess. Um Yeah, I mean I feel like the stage wasn't really you know, really yep. bad blue scratch in any sense. He just like really struggled to keep Enzo off of him. And he sometimes let Enzo set up a little bit too much by throwing out some cannonballs and crowns. Mm -hmm. Enzo was able to get too much started and he ended up finding himself trapped, right? So sometimes you can't always be playing passively. Um, oh, still keeping that oh, jump. Oh no! 
That's super unfortunate. Yeah. Can't always take those with Wi-Fi. Yeah, it definitely become, becomes a little bit more difficult to react to, you know, the input delay just, you know, it generally doesn't help. But again, look at this. He is sitting under this platform on the right side, forcing Stretch to always go through these jump-ins, and that's how Enzo creates his 50-50s of, like, am I going to be able to dash back and get a grab? Am I just going to be able to sit and shield, maybe get an out-of-shield punish? Stretch is, you know... Yeah, Stretch just I like cannot... the idea. Also, earlier, he used side view to interrupt the payroll from trying to punish him when he's trying to grab back the ledge. I like that. That's a really smart idea. Ooh. And so, really trying to get him with that. Ooh. <laughs> that boxing glove was so close to connecting. Mm -hmm. But Stretch's up, he is fast to end those texts this time are absolutely on point. And he, you gotta have those. Because look at this. Because he teched those, what? because he continues to live, he was able to get a grounded spike into up air, stretch a down a whole stock against the super heavy. That's a that's a deficit. Like mm. it's a lot to come back from actually. Yeah. Gonna go with another nair loop for a bit. Oh what a weed counts crown. That was amazing. Like he covered that tech in beautifully. Mm -hmm. Really, really good weight. He was anticipating like a spike coming from Stretch, uh, considering that short hop, so he just wanted to go deep and wait it out. Stretch wanted to punish, but did not have enough time. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, he was nicely spaced, uh, just barely outside of that the it? Wow. That was pretty sick. Because, yeah, then it, at the end, he just did. Went for the pivot grab because they know he was gonna punish him with a with an F tilt or something. Then just 